Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and today we'll talk about the fear that's holding you back from taking action on your no-limit goals. Fear keeps you on the sidelines. You may be dreaming about winning, but I don't know of any place where they hand out trophies to people sitting on the sidelines. I'd like to share a few fear-busting ideas that you can use to confidently pursue your no-limit goals. Fear of failure may not be the only thing that's holding you back. Think about it. You may be unconsciously be afraid of success. Success means change, and many people don't want to change. Success could mean that you get more responsibilities, or you get more power over people, and you may not feel ready for that. Success could mean that once you achieve a no-limit goal, like doubling your sales, your boss may expect you to achieve an even higher goal. Here's a powerful formula for busting your fears of failure or success. It is a four-step process. It's the FEAR acronym. The F stands for focus on breathing and not on your fantasies of failure. So when you shift your focus on conscious breathing, you will reduce your fears. You can use the 478 formula developed by Dr. Andrew Weil. Take four seconds to breathe in, hold your breath for seven seconds, and then breathe out for eight seconds. And repeat that five times. This will lower your stress and give you a feeling of control. You can also use the 478 technique to relax yourself before going to sleep. The E in fear stands for embrace the fear instead of trying to escape it. If you embrace fear like a friend, it will lose its power over you. The A stands for accept your fear. Don't avoid it. Once you accept fear, your mind will begin to quiet and your fear will decrease and ultimately vanish. The R in fear stands for rehearse and reinforce your fear tolerance. Instead of running or hiding, mental rehearsal will create new neural pathways that will bypass your fear response. Let me share a quick story of one of them. He was the keynote speaker at our Sales 3.0 conference. His name is Jia Zhang. He was born in Beijing, and he wrote a book called Rejection Proof, How I beat fear and became invincible through a hundred days of rejection. He tried to overcome his shyness with one great idea, rejection therapy. Every single day, he deliberately set himself up for rejection so he could desensitize himself to the pain of the word no. And his first attempt to get rejected was to walk up to a security guard in an office building and ask, can I borrow a hundred dollars? And the stranger said, of course, no, but ask him why. Uh, and Chia was too nervous to come up with a coherent answer, and he walked away. He was overcome by his fear and, and his feelings of shame. On his third try at rejection, <laughs> he asked a woman at the counter of a Krispy Kreme donut shop if she could create five donuts in the shape of Olympic rings. And he took a video of the conversation. And to his surprise, she created the special order and gave him the five donuts in the shape of Olympic rings free. And his video went viral on YouTube. He landed on national television. He did a dozen of interviews and he even got Hollywood interested in his story. And he recently delivered a TED talk that got about four million views. The lesson? When people shift their mindset, amazing things happen. As a matter of fact, one of our graduates shot a hole in one on the golf course by just making that mindset shift. Every time you fail, you will probably tell yourself, this sucks, or I'm not good at that. Fear will hold you back from learning from your failures. But as you embrace the fear, and accept the fear, you learn that fear is your teacher. And that teacher will help you to do the things that you thought you couldn't do. 
The important lesson is this. Without consciously conquering your fear, you will never learn where your true limits are. Fear will prevent you from taking chances and making changes. You don't want to go through a life where you play it safe all the time. Now, you see that no limit thinking ball and the fear ball, they're closely related. They go hand in hand. You cannot reach your no limit goals without learning to transform your fear into positive action. And all you need to succeed is within you now. There's a place in everyone's mind where dreams form, where ideas emerge, and the energy to transform into a peak performer resides in you. And you can tap into that place in your mind. It starts with the idea of practicing no limit thinking without fear and turning discomfort into comfort until it becomes a habit. And you don't even have to think about it. You just do it automatically. I encourage you to challenge yourself at least once a day to do something you've never done before. Set a no limit goal this week where you have to push yourself through small fears in order to reach it. It could be making an appointment with a customer that's twice as large as the largest customer you have right now. It could be calling your phone company and negotiate a better deal. It could be making a commitment to yourself to write a book within the next 12 months. Or it could be as simple as calling a customer you lost and ask what it take to get them back. One sales team we worked with that went through our program decided to apply no limit thinking without fear and within six months they achieved the best quarter in the history of the company. Imagine what you can do once you conquer your fears. Please download your workbook now and develop your fear-busting action plan. In the next video we talk about Ball number three, turning discomfort into the courage to act.